One restriction of Ajax is that you can only download text from the server, and that text can, of course, be straight text, plain text, or XML-based text. It can also, as you've seen, be the text that can be interpreted by JavaScript as a JavaScript object, but it's still just text. And so you're limited to simple text format fundamentally in Ajax. Or are you? This is an example that will show you how to download images or apparently download images using Ajax. And if you click the display image one button, the fetched image will go will be displayed here and you can see this will be image one and as you saw that happened without a page refresh. Display image two also happened without a page refresh and so it appears that we're using Ajax to download images in this case. How does it actually work? Well, it's simpler than you might think. In fact, what happens is you're going to the first button is display image one. It's connected to a function called get data return text image. It's going to fetch a file called image name dot text. And the second button is going to fetch a file called image name two dot text, as you see here. Okay, well this image name dot text file contains the name of an image. Contains the name of an image to download, and image name two dot text contains the name of the second image to download. So what's being fetched is, in this case, is the actual text that is the name of the image to download. So here is the get data return text function, and what it does is you pass it the name of the file that contains the name of the image to download. And so what it does is it uses the XML HTTP request objects response text property to fetch the name of an image to download. And then it calls a function called callback with the name of the image to download. So in other words, it fetches image1.jpg, that name, and then passes that name to the callback function. This callback function takes the name of the image and replaces the target divs inner HTML with a an image tag, an HTML image tag, IMG tag. So source equals and that's that text is the name of the image. So it's a clever use of Ajax to do this. What you're doing actually is you're relying on dynamic HTML to actually download the image. You're using Ajax simply to fetch the name of the image to download. And then once you have the name of the image to download, you can put together an image tag like this, as you see here, an HTML image tag. And when the browser sees a new image tag in the web page, it will, using dynamic HTML, it will evaluate that image tag. And the source property for the image tag is set to the name of the image to download. So that's the way it works. You don't download the image directly using Ajax because you can't download binary using Ajax, at least not yet. What you do instead is you download the name of the image file to display and you use dynamic HTML techniques to create an image element that uses the name of the, that gives as the name of the file to display the name you've already downloaded using Ajax techniques. So you download the name of the file to display that just text and then you use that with dynamic HTML to put together an image tag. The browser will evaluate that image tag and download the image itself. That's where the downloading comes from. The browser does it. And display the results. So it looks as though you're using Ajax. It looks very much as though you're using Ajax to download an image, but in fact you're not. You are relying on dynamic HTML to actually download the image. What you're doing is downloading the name of the image that should be displayed.